it has a title. So against its other grades, we are judging them according to the written confirmation standard of 100 points, and out of the cats within that breed, picking first, second, and third of breed in each category. Out of all those cats that I've judged today, 28 in this uh, particular class, I have 10 here with me now to show you as our top 10 championship cats in show. Before I begin, I need to thank the sponsoring and hosting club for inviting me. I live in Florida in the USA, climate very much like Kuala Lumpur. It's a pleasure to be here. I've met so many wonderful people, but the club has done so much hard work in putting on this show. I'd like to thank them for that and ask you to join with me in thanking them. Very generous sponsor, Royal Canaan, has offered some lovely prizes and support to the club. They are a real generous and helpful sponsor, and I'd like to give them a big thank you. I can't do my work without my team, and Azrak is my right-hand man. I could not work today without him. He has done not only clerking, but sorting between the cats and the cages. So vital, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. allowing me to handle your beautiful cats and sharing them with me for just a few moments. A few of them were a little nervous because we've got such a great crowd here, but it was a pleasure to handle them. Again, the count, if you are keeping score in your catalog, was 28 in this ring. And these are my top 10 in show today. I'd like to ask the owner or agent, when I place my hand on the cage, please come, take your cat out, show it to everyone, and I will tell them Quiet is here with me in my talk tonight today. Without further ado, my top 10 championship cats, starting with our beautiful British short hair. You're marking your look. This, this is its number. This cat's got a gorgeous coat, wonderful roundness. We're looking for seven round circles when we talk about the British short hair, the native cat of Britain. Beautiful powder blue color. Wonderful large eyes, robust body, fabulous breadth of chest. They mature at four to five years, and he is just a little over one year of age. Wonderful feel to his coat. He is my 10th best today. You might be wondering why these folks are sitting in chairs. It's because we have too many males and they can't be next to each other. So these folks have been very generous in bringing their cats and sitting with them on their lap. The beautiful Himalayan cat was our best of breed Himalayan. As like the Persian, we're looking for that short copy body, beautiful long coat, beautifully groomed, gorgeous frontal ruff on this cat. And look at those sapphire blue eyes, absolutely sapphire. Gorgeous open expression. Beautiful little tiny ears, wonderful presentation for the show, and my ninth best today. Show. 
Our next cat is another very popular breed of cat, the Persian cat. It includes a lot of other breeds when it was imported to the USA because of its long flowing coat and its big round poppy eyes. You can see these beautiful copper eyes on this cat. He's got gorgeous expression, very open and pleasant, all the while retaining this gorgeous top head, what we call dome, the roundness of the head, little ears way off to the side, almost buried on the side of his head, big thick neck, wonderful robust chest, and big post-like legs, beautifully groomed and presented for the show, and my seventh best cat today. Yay. Thank you for holding. <laughs> it's a lot to hold. <laughs> The Turkish man is one of the more unusual breeds of cats. We don't see them very frequently. We often call them the swimming cat. This cat's got a very unique story behind its history. Gorgeous markings on this cat. They're known for their flat sides and their very unique profile. Wonderful curve to the profile there at the very end of the nose. Very unique to this breed. Fabulous head type, wonderful musculature and balance. My Turkish fan today is my sixth best cat in show. Cats, you might think about what the pyramids and the pharaohs 
hats looked like, we think that those were Abyssinians and they were prized possessions of the pharaohs and buried with them when they died. It's a very unique color of cat, we call it ruddy, and the coat absolutely sparkles because of what we call ticking. Every band of hair has seven bands of color, every hair, to create this sparkling effect. Beautiful coat, wonderful resiliency on this cat, fabulous head type, lovely modified wedge, beautiful profile, well-placed ears, tilted ever so slightly forward, looking like a little cougar in repose, like this cat is ready to pounce at a moment's notice. They're a very active breed of cat, easy to care for coat, always ready to play. My Abyssinian is my third best cat today. This breed is known as a sphinx. You might have heard about the hairless breed of cat. This is it. They're known for their big expressive eyes and they need to be in the shape of the lemon. The eye has a very unique shape. Big bell ears. Wonderful stop to the profile, things that are just very, very important to the confirmation of this cat. Almost entirely hairless. This cat's got lots of wrinkles, and the more wrinkles, the better. I think it's the only time more wrinkles are better. Wonderful condition, beautiful depth of flank and musculature. My Sphinx today is my second best cat in show. short hair which is the short hair version of the Persian and his short hobby body and wonderful short tail to match the length of the body. Head type, wow, amazing. Big round massive head, little ears way off to the side of the head and that those fabulous poppy copper eyes giving it a very pleasant expression along with this beautiful plush plush coat. If you love everything about the Persian but are not sure you could commit to combing it three or four times a day, you need an exotic short hair. You get all the benefits without all the work. Beautiful cat. He's a mahogany red, wonderful deep red mackerel tabby in color. And this cat didn't get here on his own. Someone has fed him and groomed him and raised him to be such a beautiful specimen of an exotic. And I'd like to ask them to come and take the accolades along with their beautiful cat as the owner or agent present. No? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to... This cat is fabulous. Someone has either, I don't know, bred him or kept him in such fabulous show condition. And I'm so pleased to present him to you today as my very best all breed cat in show. Oh. 